As gorgeous as Patrick is, if you're thinking of getting a pug or any flat-faced breed, please always speak to your vet first. They'll have loads of good advice. If you're buying a puppy, make sure you see it with its mum. This is really important. If you don't, there's a good chance it comes from a puppy farm or illegally imported in horrible cramped conditions. You need to know you're buying a healthy dog that won't lead to heartbreak and potentially huge vet bills. And you can always ask whether the parents have been health tested or ask to see any health certificates. The Kennel Club run an assured breeder's scheme. Worth checking. Things to look out for when buying a pug. Look for wide nostrils, a longish snout, and make sure his or her nose aren't obscured by the wrinkle. And again, if in doubt, ask your vet for tips. For some really great advice, download the free puppy information pack, www.puppycontract.org.uk. And for those already owning a pug, remember the three O's. Don't overfeed. An overweight dog is unhealthy and puts unnecessary additional pressure on their breathing. Don't overexercise. Keep your dog slim and don't overdo it. Don't overheat in the summer, keep your dog cool and calm, like Patrick here. Sarah, I've met someone. I thought I was your someone. Oh, come and collect my stuff. And you calm down. Calm? Oh, I am perfectly calm, see? Mm. You love me less, but now you're... Hi. Oh. 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 He's cute. How long have you had him? Too long. It was a bequest from my grandmother. He's ruining my life. Oh, oh, Patrick, what have you eaten? So how are you going? He eats everything except the food I put down for him. The lease from my flat says no pets. And I start a new job in a week. I'm going to be out all day. Good morning. Otherwise, great. Patrick! I'm betting you'll have disciplinary problems with Miss Francis. You don't know anything about me or my teaching methods. I saw that. Oh, no. Never again. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even want a dog. It's just teething problems. We just need to get to know each other. You and I have very different relationship experiences. <laughs> don't give up on him too easily. It's quite a cute old fella, really. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's not a term of endearment. I'm offering you a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Are you saving a life? Oh, no, so just switching Game of Thrones and lost track of time. Okay. Morning, Sarah. Morning. Patrick. Oh. Are you ready for the 5K run, Miss Francis? Getting there. Oh, oh, oh. Big mistake. Patrick, pug actually. OK, you're freaking me out now. Is it my driving? In cinemas June 29th. Hey, animation fans, did you like the video? Well, staying with the animation theme, I've got some interesting facts for you. Did you know that Buzz Lightyear's original name was Lunar Larry? <laughs> I'm so happy they changed it. Can you imagine Buzz being called Larry? Mm. Here's another change of name for you. Tom and Jerry were originally called Jasper and Jinx. Did you also know that DreamWorks Studios stopped producing 2D animated films after Simba the Legend of the Seven Seas? And finally, in their most productive week ever recorded, Pixar completed 3.5 minutes of animation. Production on Beauty and the Beast, which was a combination of traditional, hand-drawn and computer-generated images, ran out of time and money, so they had to reuse the dancing scenes from Sleeping Beauty. Also, do you remember this scene in Frozen where Elsa walks out of her ice palace? Well, it took 132 hours, more than five days to generate, and that's not including the time it took to draft, draw and create. 
Well, now, I love a good animated movie, as I'm sure you do. But have you ever noticed that a lot of cartoon characters have four-fingered hands instead of five? The reason is simple. Hands with four fingers are easier to draw and animate. Cartoon characters are always simplified versions of whatever their real-life equivalent is. A four-fingered hand saves a lot of time in animating and it really does not make any difference to us while watching. It all started with the very first Mickey Mouse cartoon. Now, there are almost too many video game easter eggs to count uh, in the movie, but one stands apart. Pay close attention to the Fixit Felix arcade cabinet and you'll notice the high score of 120,501 or December the 5th, 1901. The birthday of Walt Disney himself. Who knew? Now, adding to that, for all the video game companies that gave rights to Disney for this retro adventure, the makers of the Mortal Kombat series weren't as willing. From the red eye, robot arm and tribal tattoos, fans may think they spot the classic uh, character Kano in the bad unknown meeting, but he's actually credited as cyborg for legal reasons, even though he still executes the fighter's signature finishing move tearing the heart from a nearby zombie. Valley here with an interesting motion capture fact from 2003's Finding Nemo. For the character Bruce, extensive motion capture was used of actual great white sharks to get the character's shark look. Six different sharks were used, including two from the private collection at Mandalay Bay Casino in Las Vegas. I loved Finding Nemo. What about you? Now, after seeing the movie, audiences didn't know what to make of Toothless, the movie's titular dragon, since he doesn't fit the usual design of the flying uh, fire breathers. He was originally going to look more like a wolf and closer to a traditional dragon. But when a team member's screensaver of a black leopard popped up, the design was changed immediately. But for all the movie's fans, Pixar boss John Lasseter wasn't among them. When he took the reins for Disney Animation as a whole, he let the directors Chris Sanders and Dean DeBlois go. DreamWorks souped in landing the duo and the title has been one of their most successful properties to date. Did you know that Pumba the, in The Lion King was the first character to fart in a Disney movie? Just fits in perfect with the character, don't you think? <laughs> I wonder who the second character was. <laughs> yeah. So I'm the first uh, to fart in the films now. Did you know that the man who served as the voice of Walt Disney's iconic Mickey Mouse for over 30 years, Wayne O'Wine, was married to the woman who voices Minnie Mouse, Rossi Taito? The two were married for nearly two decades until Wayne O'Wine passed away in 2009. Oh, isn't that sweet? Did you know that Nemo first made his appearance in Monsters, Inc. as one of Boo's toys? That was two years before Finding Nemo was released. I've got a cool movie fact for you about The Lion King. Now, the name of the movie seems pretty straightforward, right? But did you know that its original title was actually King of the Jungle? Marketing materials and merchandise had even been made before the studio realized lions don't live in the jungle. <laughs> The upcoming live action slate for Disney is looking awesome, with titles including A Wrinkle in Time, based on the book by Madeline Langle, has an all star cast in Oprah Winfrey, Chris Pine, Reese Witherspoon, and Mindy Kelling in theaters March 9, 2018. The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, with Kira Knightley as the Sugar Plum Fairy. Helen Mirren and Morgan Freeman will also star along with Mackenzie Foy. It will be in theaters November 2, 2018. The Mary Poppins sequel starring Emily Blunt will hit theaters on Christmas 2018. Blunt will be joined by Lin-Manuel Miranda as the two go on the new adventures with the new generation of Banks children. The Lion King will be in theater July 19, 2019 with Donald Glover voicing Simba, while James Sir Jones reprises his role of Mufasa. Tim Burton live action version of Dumbo has been set for a March 29, 2019 release. Guy Ritchie is set to direct the live action version of Aladdin with Will Smith as Genie. A live action version of the 1998 animated movie Mulan will also be released in 2019. Disney has also revealed they are making a movie based off uh, the ride Jungle Cruise with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. 
Whoa, so it's going to be a busy time. I can't wait for them all. What about you? Let me know below. See ya.